Mr. Speaker, maybe I'll turn to some of the, the, the opportunities. And one of the things that uh, I did when I, when I first got elected with my colleagues from Vancouver Island, we banded together, we went to uh, the Minister of Infrastructure, and we, and, and we asked for BC Ferries to be eligible for the Build Canada Fund, because under the previous Conservative government, it wasn't eligible, Mr. Speaker, and BC Ferries made that loud and clear. Despite the member from Vancouver Island North, the Conservative member who said it was eligible, but they had been rejected on every application because they were told that they weren't eligible, Mr. Speaker. So we were grateful again to the Minister of Infrastructure for changing the, the requirements and allowing BC Ferries to be eligible for the Build Canada Fund. That's resulted uh, in, a, in $62 million to BC Ferries, and uh, that was told to me by the CEO of BC Ferries, Mark Collins, who I ran into in Vancouver, and he was so grateful for it, and he said uh, to me that he wanted to come to our riding uh, and, and uh, listen to me about uh, thoughts and concerns around BC Ferries, ways that he can support our communities better, but also he wanted to express his gratitude for us going to Ottawa, working with the government, and creating this eligibility that has really supported all ferry users in British Columbia. And while he was there, I was able to talk to him and showcase uh, Port Alberni and the Alberni Valley as a great opportunity for that BC Ferries Experience Program, Mr. Speaker, so that they can promote each other, work collectively, support the tourism economy. But we also talked about this incredible opportunity that we have the, 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 the deepest water port on the west coast of Vancouver Island that is heavily underutilized, Mr. Speaker. And um, it, was, it was very clear that he expressed to me that uh, shipyards are, are, are coming close to capacity and he wanted uh, to help find ways that we could work together. So he wrote a letter of support after visiting the port and he says, quote, BC Ferries is planning to invest three and a half to four billion dollars over the next 12 years in infrastructure and new vessels in addition to our anticipated 150 million dollar annual spend on ship repair. The biggest constraint we face supporting our fleet is the scarcity of dry docking in British Columbia. Currently two-thirds of our fleet of 35 vessels can be docked at just two facilities. Those facilities are busy and the opportunity for increased dry dock capacity in BC will be of great interest to BC ferries and other coastal marine customers." End quote. And he supports the Port Alberni Port Authority and their development and hope for a new, dry, uh, new floating dry dock. And the reason I bring that up, Mr. Speaker, is it's an economic opportunity for people on the west coast to create more shipbuilding, but also maybe a place that we can work with abandoned and derelict boats. So we'd like to see the government work with all levels of government, the federal government and the federal liberals, so that we can create those jobs and support a dry dock in our community.